So I was trying to come up with a clever joke about wrapping it up and being late, but I can't think of one. What's up you guys? So last month I read four books and let's just jump right into it. The first book I read in March was Antebellum by R.K. Thomas. It was about this rapper who is the epitome of everything bad in rap music. He is everything it means to be a modern day slave. And he gets shot and when he gets shot he wakes up in slavery. This book was graphic, it was gruesome, it was long and drawn out and over the top and extra where it didn't need to be extra and I loved it. I, I truly love this book. It, it was just so good. So I gave this book five stars. The next book I read last month was Every Day by David Levithan. And it is about A, A is a body jumper and A meets this girl one day and then A is like, I don't want to body jump anymore because I love this girl and I want to be with her. So I'm reading this book, right? And it's really good. It has a lot of good meaning to it and the story is progressing and then I get to the end and I'm like, where's the rest? It, it, it's over? And I don't mean that in a good way. I don't mean that I wanted more in a good way. I mean that there was there was no more. There needed to be more, but there was no more. And I had a lot of unanswered questions about that book. It was just like, <sighs> no rating, just no rating. And the last two books I read last month were Legend and Prodigy by Marie Lu, and they were awesome! Like, why did I wait so long to read Legend? Yeah, and I'm probably gonna make some people mad, but I really did like Legend a lot more than I liked Divergent. I don't know why. Yes, I do, because I liked June and Day better than I liked Tristan Four. Yeah. Meaning like if I were in their worlds, I would befriend June and Day faster than I would befriend Triss and Four. That's what I mean by that. But yeah, Legend and Prodigy, I gave Legend five stars and I gave Prodigy four stars because she missed me with the lovey-dovey ending. I kind of didn't like that a little bit. So yeah. So what I wanted to start doing is, um, out of the books that I've read this month, if you guys want me to review any of them, if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments. And whichever book you guys want me to review the most, I'll make a separate video and review it and answer the questions if you have any. Did you understand what I just said? Because I kind of didn't. This month is Autism Awareness Month and I don't normally do a TBR but there is one book that I want to read this month and it is The Reinvention of Edison Thomas by Jacqueline Houtman and it doesn't uh, say it anywhere like on the jacket it doesn't say it anywhere on the back of the book that the main character is autistic but from the description and from some of the reviews that I've seen it seems like he is on the autism spectrum so yeah I'm really looking forward to reading this book it's sort of a coming of age story about this boy he's a science geek but he's just an outcast and he can't really tell what people are thinking about him he can't read emotions and that kind of thing so yeah it's just about that and I also wanted to share with you guys some of the other books that I've read with characters that are autistic one of them is Colin Fisher by Ashley Edward Miller and Zach Stentz and yeah I read this book it was really good it's kind of like a a semi Sherlock Holmesy type book, but the main character he has Asperger's. I've also read Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close by Jonathan Saffron Fowler, and this book was really good too. It's just about this boy trying to find himself after his father is killed during 9 11, and he is also autistic. Um, if you guys know of any good books about children with autism, just let me know down below. 
and I will be glad to check them out because I've been looking for some, but I haven't found that many. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below in my belly and I will talk to you guys later.